so the um, new tax relief for theatre productions is exactly for that so it incentivizes actual productions it doesn't go to companies um, per se it goes to incentivize actual productions to happen so if you're doing something speculatively you don't qualify for the relief uh, you only uh, qualify when you get it um, it's been in existence now since September so um, the first applications are only just now coming through and actually unlike the other creative sector reliefs um, it applies to both uh, what you might call subsidised or not-for-profit organisations, so those that uh, technically don't pay any tax, but of course are technically also subject to corporation tax, and of course big commercial um, productions uh, as well. Um, and the, the, the issues are sometimes are somewhat different for uh, the two of them. Um, I have to say theatre was probably a little bit easier to bring into the statute books than some uh, other of the creative industry reliefs as the orchestra sector are now finding because theatre was actually quite well defined within UK legislation already um, and what the government lawyers and HMRC worry about terribly is not being able to define it so you've got to be able to define where's if you like the market failure in other words what needs resolving and then you have to be able to define it very clearly in law so as lots of people know some of the issues around orchestras have been how do you define what is an orchestra? So, I mean, everyone can understand when it's the uh, role, uh, when it's the you know London Symphony Orchestra doing a symphony concert. That's you can say that is what it is. But how do you differentiate that when you're writing it down in legislation from you two performing with an orchestra on stage, um, and uh, where it's an orchestra? But how do you differentiate that from uh, orchestral concerts? Um, so. In terms of any other sector who wants to campaign, I think, for tax reliefs, one, you've got to be clear what you're campaigning for. In other words, what's it going to incentivise that wouldn't otherwise happen? And two, you've got to be able to define it really, really clearly, I think, for the lawyers. So to be able to say this is what it would be and this is what it wouldn't include. Uh, so as you know, in our sector, in the theatre sector, it's very clear that you have to be playing a role, for example. You can't just be stand, you know, stand up comedy where it's just you standing up with a microphone doesn't qualify. You've got to be playing a role. But all of that was sort of in legislation already. So it was a little bit easier for us.